While I have shown the Bosch 1330C on my channel a ton, I've never actually done a dedicated review for it. So, what does Bosch's most powerful drill in the world have to offer? Well, I'll tell you what, it's quite large, that's for sure. Here it is compared to the Milwaukee, which is a relatively compact full-size drill. Now, even though it's large, it's very smooth and has an extremely ergonomic handle. The grip really follows the contour of your hand, very smooth, and it doesn't have that aggressive, gritty feel to it. It has a smooth power output. Pretty nice zoo chuck, holds on to things very nicely. We're seeing a lot of metal. It doesn't feel very plasticky at all. Up to 25 clutch settings. You have drill mode, screw mode, and hammer mode right here, and then speed one and two. This drill also has some very unique features where you can have a angle finder. Here is some presets at 45 degrees and 60 degrees. You can also put in the chip here and use your phone and set any angle you want and set it there and it will tell you if you are on that angle or not with this light here. Kickback is very easily turned on and off. That way, if you don't need kickback, easily shut it off. Most drills don't even have the option to turn it off. Bosch does claim that this is the strongest drill on the market. I'm not so sure about that lately. If you follow this channel, I've done a lot of tests with this between the likes of DeWalt, Flex, Milwaukee, Metabo HPT. It is very strong, but it doesn't excel at everything. We have the eight amp hour power core battery on here right now. Five inch GRK. Mechanical clutch. You like to see it. It's a little annoying, it's a little loud, but people like mechanical clutches more than electronic clutches from what I've seen. Very smooth power output though. And it's just a joy to use, besides the fact that it's huge. The auxiliary handle is quite long, but I have a few things I don't like about it after using it for a while. It has this hose clamp type of deal to actually clamp on with some small teeth. And these teeth are st starting to get torn up a little bit. You see how it sits. It sits in these notches down here and it just kind of starts to eat away because these are plastic teeth. Let's put our handle on. And it does, you know, clamp on here nicely twist the handle you have a lot of leverage here but the majority of this is made out of plastic which I don't like here's a six inch Spax in speed two drill mode here is an eight inch Spax in speed two drill mode doesn't look like it can drive it home without a pilot hole in speed two drop it to speed one and there you go. So it can drive fasteners pretty well. I have a ton of videos of driving larger fasteners and even torque testing this, which this ended up getting 57 foot pounds. That is the highest on the channel so far. I'll link those videos somewhere so you can go check them out. Half inch twist bit in speed two drill mode. Absolutely no problem. One and one eighth inch speed demon, speed two drill mode. No problem, and it's smooth, smooth as butter. One and one quarter inch Irwin speed bore, speed two drill mode. Yep, it did it. Okay, this is two and nine sixteenths self-feeding switchblade, and we're gonna turn kickback off just in case I can't handle the power. Still in speed two drill mode, by the way. That is power, baby. All right, now can this thing hammer drill? We're in hammer. We're in speed two. This is a three eighths inch bit. That honestly took a lot longer than I thought in hammer drill. I've seen a lot of other drills dominate a 3 8 bit through this cinder block. 
no problem. That it was speed two in hammer mode. It took its sweet time. It was smooth. I wouldn't really recommend using any of these hammer drills as a hammer drill anymore. You can find cheap, smaller rotary hammers and they'll perform much better. But I understand if you can only afford one tool or you just want one tool to do it all, I understand that. Just, you're not gonna get major performance with a hammer drill like this. Overall, the Bosch 1330C is one amazing drill. It really is. It's so smooth, it's powerful, and it does the job. It's large, and people kind of overlook Bosch, at least a lot here in the US, which is really sad because they make great tools, and it's been a joy to have this hammer drill. That is all for now. I hope you all have a great day. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, please, and maybe subscribe if you haven't already.